Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's a little late, but I do have my boxy charm here for September, October, October. I don't know what month I'm in. Okay, I received this a couple of days ago, maybe like a week ago, and I just hadn't had the chance to get into it and open it with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and first review the products with you, then we're gonna go ahead and try it on at the end of the video. So if you wanna stay and stick around for that, you can go ahead and do that. So if you wanna see what I think, then keep on watching. So if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a $21 monthly subscription. You get four to five full-size items, and there's some great brands in here, and so far it's one of the best subscription boxes that I've received. I've had BoxyCharm for maybe over a year now, and I completely love it. So if you would like more information in BoxyCharm, go ahead and go into my description, and there'll be a link for you to check out. So the first thing we get in here is we pull out this like pamphlet, and then it shows here the theme for the month, which is Alter Ego, and it's perfect for Halloween. And then inside, it tells you all the items that are in there, a brief description of the items, along with the retail price. But we'll go ahead and look at that together. And then in the back, it always comes with some type of coupon, and this month it's 10% off of It Cosmetics. So the first product that I have here is a Hobbit. It's a Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. And I received this in a full size. This is actually maybe, it's not a full size, it's actually a deluxe sample size which I'm not really hating because this is actually a perfect size for my purse the full size that I had was a lot bigger and I believe I received that in a fat fit foam box and I love it it feels so good on the skin you just need a little bit a little goes a long way it's not like an amazing smell it just smells like hand cream it kind of reminds me of the cream that my grandfather used to put on the side of on his nightstand and he would always use it for his dry hands and feet. So it reminds me of my grandpa. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So it shows it retails for $10, which is about right because I believe the large tube was like, if I remember correctly, like $29. So that's about right. So this one I really liked, and this is from Everything Alley. I had a hard time or wasn't sure on the pronunciation, so she went ahead and corrected me. Ahave. In Hebrew is the word for love. But in Hebrew, it, word for love, is actually an action, not a feeling. So that was good information, and that just made me like this cream more. The next thing I have here is the Briogeo Don't, Respair, Bro, Briogeo Don't Despair Hair Strengthen Moisture Leave-In Mask. So this is two fluid ounces, and it is a full size because I've looked online and... All of them were about this size. I didn't see anything any bigger. And this shows a retail value of $16. So the next item I have, I was really excited for because everybody just like been raving about this mascara. It's the It Superhero Electric Stretch Volumizing Mascara. So I don't know, we'll go ahead and try it out. Looks like this is how it comes, which I really like the packaging on that. Look at that. See that? I just like the shape of it. And it looks like it would have a lot in here. 0.30 fluid ounces. I don't know. That doesn't really mean anything to me. And let's just check out the wand. It's not that bad. It's fuller than some of the other ones we received. I do like a really full wand. But I heard this um, spreads out your lashes really well and strength them, lengthens them. I really cannot talk. So the mascara retails for $24. Okay, next I have here is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And it looks like I have bow and arrow. So this is what it looks like. It's a nice nude. I don't own any lipsticks from Kat Von D, so I'm excited to get this one. I love the packaging. I just love her packaging. That whole tattoo like design, I just love it. So we'll go ahead and try that in a little bit. And that retails for $20. And then last but not least, we have the Midnight Masquerade palette, face palette from Pure. So this one I was really interested in. But then here we go. 
and then that retails for $38. Okay, guys, as you can see, it is a completely different day. I went ahead and took a shower in the middle of recording um, the last video. My battery dies, but I thought, hey, you know, it's perfect because I can take a shower and I can actually give this a try. So it says spray throughout freshly wet and damp hair with focus on the mid length and ends. Comb through, do not rinse, air dry or blow dry, style as usual. So I'll go ahead and spray this through the middle of my hair. I don't know how much I put. It does smell really good. I think that's good. Okay, I actually can't find my comb, so I'm gonna go ahead and just brush it through. Mmm, it does smell clean. So I'll go ahead and Okay, so meanwhile I do my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my hair up. Okay, so I went ahead and I already primed my eyes using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Original. So I went ahead and used this. And now I'm gonna pull out this Tartise palette, the Amazon Clay Matte Palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and just set everything down with Free Spirit. So. This isn't really gonna be like a tutorial. I'm just gonna go ahead and try everything on, tell you what colors I'm using, and just so we can get an idea of how I feel about the products. Okay, so this palette really doesn't give me very many options. This is my only option for a matte color, sneak peek. Um, and I really wanna focus all my colors on this palette, but I did need some type of um, transition color at the bottom so that's the only reason I went into the other palette but now we're gonna just focus and use everything off of this palette so I'm gonna go into that sneak peek and we're just gonna go ahead and lay that down into the crease and just a little bit higher okay so I really like this color it blended out really well I'm very surprised I don't know if I like it because of the transition color I used under it if that's the reason because I can kind of see it peeking through but I really like that um, but I really do like the way that blends so far okay wish me luck I'm gonna go with I don't know if this is gonna even go but I don't have very much options I'm gonna go with this blue I don't know what I'm gonna do with it uh, so this is how the blue looks Oh, I think this is gonna be a mess. Whew. I'm gonna tap on this blue, and I purposely didn't use any um, foundation on my face first because I wanted to see how the fallout was with these colors. So on this side, I'm gonna do it without concealer or wetting my brush, just to see how that goes. Okay, it's not as vibrant as I thought it was gonna be from the pad. Okay, so it's kind of not what I wanted. Okay, so I don't know if you can see in the camera. I'm putting the green with my finger halfway, and I like the way that's coming out, and it's actually mixing well with the blue. Okay, and then on the other eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use concealer, kind of make some type of cut crease, and see, do the same pattern but see if it works better on this eye with the concealer so that already looks very um, pigmented and bright and it looks a lot more similar to the color that's in the pan um, so I guess it just depends on what look you're looking for if you just want more of a dusty look you can do it this way but I really like the boldness of um, adding the concealer all right so now I'm going to go ahead and go under it with the pencil brush and we're going to go ahead and use that brown okay so now I'm using my uh, makeup wipe just to wipe off all the fallout that I have which it's not too bad um, I've had other palettes that the fallout was a lot worse so 
this doesn't even bother me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my face with moisturizer, foundation, and concealer, and I'll come back and we could finish the look. I am not going to contour today. I'm just gonna go ahead and do everything off of this palette because I don't think this is a good color to contour with. Um, it has too much shimmer in it, but I will use it as a bronzer. Um, though it's still too shimmery for me for a bronzer, but I just want to use this palette only. I'm kind of going out of order here, but before I do my blush, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes. And I'm going to go with Sneak Peek, and I'm going to go ahead and put that under my waterline. Reveal. And go right under my eye with that. I think, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to in my here with exposed and that's actually a pretty good silver okay now that I got everything else on I'm gonna go in with this lip liner from Kiko Milano and it's the color I believe it's smart now I'm going in with the Kat Von D lipstick okay it is a little bit dark for me um, but good thing I have some color on my eyes so it does go um, but I think I will top it with this little, I believe this came from My Makeup. I believe that's the brand. My hair still smells really good, so I do really like that, that it smells really good and clean. And it's not because I shampooed my hair. It's when I added this, it added a, a nice scent to it, so I do like that. And it does feel very soft. So this is a product I'm going to have to use a few times to actually give a good review on. Okay, so there you go. I like the way it looked. Um, hopefully with this lighting, you can actually get a good idea of how the look came out. Um, I like the colors. I do like the green and the blue mixture. It's just like, because I have like browns on, it just kind of like throws in like a pop of color. So it doesn't look too dark, but it's still fall colors. So I really do like that. The highlight is very subtle, the blush, um, you have to just be very careful because it's very pigmented and it can come on really strong. So if that happens, just remember to do it lightly and just keep blending until you get what, you know, the color desire um, amount on that you like. Other than that, I think it was a really good palette. Now to tell you the truth, would I go out to the store and specifically pick this palette up? No, I actually wouldn't. Um, but I am glad it came in my BoxyCharm because I do like a few of the colors but as a whole um, it is not a palette I would go out and purchase on my own especially for the price point of $38 there are so many other palettes that I would 100% reach for before this palette now that my eyelashes are on and it looks complete this eye that was giving more problems um, applying it with the brush doesn't look so bad but I do think using it as a concealer and using your fingers works out better now I did forget to mention the mascara, but I did only use it on my bottom lashes, but I did like the way it separated my bottom lashes. I didn't see that it was fuller, but I did see that they were separated and a little bit longer. As far as the lipstick, it doesn't feel sticky, so I'm happy with that. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. So remember, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're a blessing, and don't let anyone tell you any different. As always, I love you and have a blessed day.